but supporting all matters that pertain to this county and our benefit to our people. And one such matter that comes to mind is the threatened sale of Moya rice mills. And we want to pledge here and now, we are going to unite as the leadership of Kirinyaga, the willing, to ensure that Moya rice mill is not sold, because if it gets sold, then the rice farmer automatically becomes a slave to the person who buys. But uh, we could say a few words, is it? Smile. Mm -hmm. ah, another one. We know he's going to kill us. Oh, God, don't you get your dog? Oh, I think one of the ways to serve leaders who have served is to serve the community. If we equip our hospitals in Kenya, in all the counties and nationally, we will not need to raise money to go to India. We need a good health service. NHIF and we need equipment in all our hospitals so that these unnecessary these journeys that are necessary now become unnecessary in the future. We are asking leaders to attend to that. Thank you. I've said disease does not know parties, does not know anything else. And we also want to emphasize this is a leader who has served this county and it would be wrong not to support him in his hour of need. We wish him well as he travels to India to be assisted. And I want to really uh, congratulate these young leaders from the county, Honorable Jerry Maina, Women Rep, and Honorable Madenge, MCA uh, for Baragwe, and all the leaders who supported this initiative through Njeri. We are very, very grateful as a sister, because we are sisters in the struggle with Honorable Kenyambwe. He's my brother, I'm his sister. I just want to second the call by Honorable Madenge that as leaders, our unity should not end with supporting Honorable Kenyambwe, but supporting all matters that pertain to this county and our benefit to our people. And one such matter that comes to mind is the threatened sale of Moya rice mills. And we want to pledge here and now, we are going to unite as the leadership of Kirinyaga, the willing, to ensure that Moya rice mill is not sold, because if it gets sold, then the rice farmer automatically becomes a slave to the person who buys. Today I know they are private millers, but prices are stabilized because the main rice farmer has a mill called Moya Rice Mills. If the government is tired, the farmer is saying, sell your shares to us so that the farmer can be the author of his or her own destiny. So we are going to have unity of purpose in this county. And also to thank uh, my senior, uh, Martha Karua, for reaching out on behalf of um, Honorable Kenya Mboe. And um, I want to request leaders to be there and uh, support each other uh, beyond parties and beyond any other differences that we might have in Kenya County. We must always remember that we are one people. And uh, we are here today with my senior Martha Karua and Honorable Matenge to give support to this member of parliament who served the people of Kirinya County and who served Kenya at large. And I want to call on all leaders 
to remember that we must ensure that we have fixed our healthcare system so that our people do not suffer anymore. Or they help. Uh, do you want me to talk about it? Yes. Uh, okay. I'm still pushing the health amendment bill 2023. And I am hoping that once we resume Parliament, I will be able to table it on the floor for first reading so that we can ensure we protect uh, the common Mwananchi. Because I believe that every Kenyan has a right to access the highest level of attainable health care. And we must ensure that everyone is catered for.